What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great Monday, and I hope you're making the most of your day. So I woke up this morning with a bit of a hangover from all the rum that I drank last night because I haven't really been drinking since the football season. I'm toasting to my boy, Stuart. And once I got myself together there, found out that Dalton Schultz is a little bit upset that the contract negotiations are not going well. Have we been here before with contract negotiations with Catboy? So let's think about this now. It seems like every contract that the Dallas Cowboys give out, the player has to go through holy hell and dragged through the mud. They get denigrated and disrespected by the numbers that they offer. Right? Case in point, think about D-Law. D-Law, who played on a franchise tag and then got tagged again, was like, look, I played the game one time. I did what I was supposed to do. Pay me my damn money. And if you don't, I'm not getting my shoulder worked on. And you can look at that moment right there as the beginning of a bad season for him because he was unable to use that shoulder all summer long and really practice. And if you don't think that a shoulder is <laughs> important, if you don't think that a shoulder is important piece, to an edge rusher, then you don't know football. You've got to be able to use that arm and that shoulder to create separation. Without it, you're not, you're not doing much. You are not doing much. So the Cowboys screwed the pooch on that season. To follow it up for good measure, this offseason, when the Cowboys were in cap hell, they went to him and said, we know we owe you $27 million this year on the cap. How about you take 10? D-Log said, get the hell out of here. Just release me. Because that isn't even an offer. Eventually, Stephen Jones got with his daddy. And they... Uh, got him a, a reasonable contract that works for everybody. Dak Prescott. They waited until the last minute trying to put in some bullshit on the last day, the 15th of July, trying to get this thing done, when they should have gotten it done years before, in which case it wouldn't have cost them as much money. Right? Zeke. Oh, we're not going to reset the market. Zeke holds out. Goes to Cabo. And you could say that Zeke wasn't in as good a shape as he could have been had he been working out with the team. Also this year, J. Ron Curse. They literally offered him one million dollars after he had 103 tackles and no longer did the Cowboys have worries at safeties. He got so pissed off he said screw you I'm deleting everything I have Dallas Cowboys. So should we be surprised that they're trying to do the same thing with Dalton Schultz in his contract? That they're taking their time 
with the franchise tag knowing that's only five weeks left? Hmm. Not really. Not at all. Now, should the Cowboys go ahead and get this deal done? Well, they have the money to do it, and apparently they're not spending it on free agents. Um, if they can, and, and the thing is, is with all of these, waiting doesn't get you a better deal. We have yet to see the Dallas Cowboys put off a contract and wait, and then they get a better deal. In fact, you can look at the Dallas Cowboys and say, when have they ever gotten a good deal at all? So currently, the Cowboys have Dalton Schultz locked up for one season, and he they can make him play on that. Because if he decides not to play on it, then they still have his rights next year. So you can basically just have a hissy fit and for voluntary workouts. And this is where it's interesting that he said for voluntary workouts, which is only this week. We got two more voluntary workouts. That's it. Next week is mandatory minicamp, and that's a whole different ball of wax. The problem if he holds out next week is you get fined. That's non -refu not refundable. It's not negotiable. You get fined for it. So that's where the shit hits the ske steers. Is that what it is? The shit hits the steers. Maybe that's right. Maybe that's right. I don't know. I can't remember. But anyway, that's, that's when or the shit hits the fan. Right, maybe that's what it is. Um, if there's nothing done and there's a little bit of, we're not sure exactly what the plans are, um, looking at Clarence Hill and some of the other tweets that are out there, um, him showing up next week is dependent by some measures of if he has a deal in place. So I don't know if he gets the deal. I don't know if he gets a deal in place in the course of the next week. Um, but it seems like the only way you get a deal with the Dallas Cowboys is you've got to be the, 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 the squeaky wheel to get greased. It's kind of crazy sometimes with the Cowboys. So, so much for a peaceful offseason. Drama is back in Dallas. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, the bookcases, I'm going to go get those installed here this morning. Um, get that out the way get back here. I'm working on making uh, artwork pieces that we're giving away. We'll give away another one tonight. Um, I've actually already uh, cut two this morning um, of Brother Stu and um, I'm going to keep cutting them. Hope you guys are having a great day and hopefully I'll see you soon. Peace.